I can t share some of that feedback from 2020. Students did really well who knew their text backwards and forwards for the subjects of English. English is an additional language and literature. That's really important for those that students do have that really deep understanding of and engagement with their text. In English and Literature Extension, where students engage with three stimulus for the examination, the students did really well who took time to read the three stimulus carefully and decide which one was the best one for them to respond to in terms of being able to apply their readings to that text. Firstly, I would reassure all students that external assessment is just testing what they know and can do. There aren't any tricks in external assessment, so students should go to the external assessment space confident that they have control over the space and the decisions they can make. In terms of English EAL and literature, there are, there are two questions for every text. So students do get to choose which question best suits their purposes. That's firstly really important. Students in those subjects choose the question that is really the best one for you to answer. In English and Literature Extension, there's those three stimulus that students need to read. Read them carefully in your planning time and choose which one provides you with the best opportunity. There are other things though that students need to think about in the external examination space. Firstly, is to actually look at what the question is asking you. What is really important is that students, when they write their response, are responding to the words of the question that they chose, that they're not creating in some sort of hybrid of their own. So it's really important that they take the time to pull the question apart, see what understanding and knowledge they have that they can bring to that question. Students should go into the external assessment space with a really clear idea about how they'd like to manage their time. As a student, you do have control over the situation and the setting. Plan for that and make sure you strategize in the exam space for the best possible outcome for you. Another really important thing for students to do is to look at last year's papers and the external assessment marking guides or EAMGs, your teachers may have said, that go with them. They will show you the pattern of a paper. And that's really important for your confidence and your understanding. So look at the questions that were asked last year uh, for English, for EAL, for literature. Look at the stimulus that were in the paper last year for English and Literature Extension and the question that went with them. But really importantly, get that EAMG out. You'll notice in the English learning area that students are assessed under the same criteria for internal assessment and external assessment but the marking guides, the EAMGs, will show you how marks are allocated within those criteria. And that should give you, again, some really good procedural knowledge as a student to help you in terms of strategizing and planning the essay that you're going to write in one of our learning area subjects. And as a student of English, which regardless of which English subject you're enrolled in, it's really important to understand that there are many ways to write an essay, but the EAMG will show you what is valued inside that essay response. There are three places that students can go to find out more information about external assessment. First of all, on our website, we have our syllabuses. The syllabus is the point of truth for each subject and it has a section which is explicitly devoted to external assessment. So please do make sure you've read that prior to the examination. Secondly, uh, there are resources that will sit with that syllabus that will be very valuable to you. You will be able to see Firstly, last year's papers, and secondly, the subject report from 2020. And that will give you some really clear guidance around things that you may wish to concentrate on, consider, reflect on prior to your examination. The third place that you can go is to the MyQCE site, where we will have documents also sitting there 
for external assessment. In particular, we will have the student guide for 2021, which will give you uh, information around the external assessment for this year. Mm -hmm.